Oh, very definitely. Uh, they're a big, powerful team. Uh, they run very well. Uh, we saw them against Oklahoma and very, very impressed, particularly in the second half play of Iowa State. They're well balanced and uh, a good football team. All right. Were you concerned also that physically they may wear down your smaller team over the course of a ball game? Uh, somewhat. Uh, we've been through that before with Oklahoma State and a big team like Colorado State. Uh, usually we get better as the game goes on. We hang in there. We're in pretty good shape. and. Uh, we know it's going to be tough stopping them, but nevertheless, uh, we'll do our thing. All right. By the same token, the previous week against New Mexico, Matt Kofler got sacked 12 times, so I assume that part of your preparation also was trying to protect him? Oh, very definitely. Worked very hard on our pass protection, and uh, I think you'll see it's much improved this week. All right. Now, going into the ball game, was it your plan on the opening kickoff if we win, and, or rather if we lose, kick off the, uh, the onside kick? Well, I thought about it all week and uh, talked to Gary Zahner about it. And he said, yes, it was there. And I told him that I wanted to use it sometime during the course of the game. And then I decided uh, yesterday we'll go with it from the beginning. So he said, what the heck? Let's open up with it. Well, I thought it would be, be a good surprise. And let's keep the ball away from that big guy. <laughs> good thinking. <laughs> all right. And that's exactly what happened as the Aztecs and Iowa State Cyclones get together at San Diego Stadium. Pay attention, because right off the bat, the Aztecs have their first of many surprises on the opening kickoff, and we'll have that right after this. They will receive the Aztecs at home for the first time this year. Hemp's wearing their all-black uniform. Good crowd, nice night, San Diego Stadium, on a weekend in which, speaking of Cardinals gold, USC, number one ranked team in the country, lost to Arizona 13-10. Stanford upset UCLA 26-23. Hawaii. Beat Wyoming 14 to 9 at BYU, ranked eighth in the nation, one of the polls, lost this weekend to Nevada Las Vegas. Onside kick drive by Dave Meyer, and the Aztecs recover. What a way to start, Bobby. Excellent way to start off the ball game. Got him completely by surprise. State Cooper to pass on first down has time fires long overthrown intended for Phil Smith starting at the wide receiver with Clinton Sampson there number 17 coverage by Joe Brown cornerback so Matt starts off throwing long but overthrows Phil Smith this could be an indication of what the Aztecs are going to be doing all day Iowa State was in a uh, zone coverage at that time and uh, they're going to try to pick apart and try to find out what Iowa State wants to do right off the bat all right, there's the big guys up front. Brian Spaday, Daryl Yarborough, Matt Long, Rob Gilster, and Jerry Stapleton across the front. The Aztecs wide receivers are Phil Smith and Clinton Sampson. Second down 10 at the Cyclone 48-yard line. Kopler trying to pass again. Sets up. Now dumps it off to running back Donnie Roberts at the 40 down to the 37-yard line. Check that. That is Bull Williams. Bull Williams. Middle linebacker Chris Washington making the stop for the Cyclones. We had a change in the backfield. Bull Williams and Don Roberts are starting today instead of Steve Fogle and Craig Ellis. And I believe the reason for that is uh, they're worried about that big rush from the Iowa State uh, defensive line. And uh, they're better blockers right now. They're bigger and have a little more bulk and strength. Okay, and as you mentioned, Bull Williams and Donnie Roberts are, in fact, the two setbacks starting back of Matt Kofler as we have a measurement. Chains are brought across from the other side. It's going to be a little bit short of first down yardage. So it'll be third down and inches for the Aztecs. As you see, tight end John Jessup, number 87, coming in. The Aztecs will go to the double tight ends. Across the front, the Iowa State Cyclone. Boy, good defensive front four. As they have a Ransom, Shamus McDonald, Mark Butts, Chris Bosky. And the Aztecs line up in an eye formation. Gibbs right ahead. Bull Williams pounds in there for a yard or two to the 36-yard line. Middle of the defensive line for the Cyclones making the stop. Bottom of the line, Chris Washington, middle linebacker, and it's a first down Aztecs. Nothing fancy, but it got the job done. Just a straight dive play with the big man carrying the ball. See it again here. Just a straight handoff to Bull Williams. Letting him get his 5'10", 225 pounds going, and he hits into that line of scrimmage pretty hard. 
the Aztecs with their first first down, just shy of the 35-yard line. Operating sideline left, open field to the right. Aztecs going away from the scoreboard here at San Diego Stadium, first quarter. On first down, Matt back to pass. Blitz is on, fires it out in the backfield. Kerry Williams takes the pass in, goes down to the 33 of Iowa State. Outside linebacker George Jessen making the stop. Linebackers for the Cyclones, Jessen and Fisher on the outside. Chris Washington, the middle linebacker. There you see the defense and the secondary for the Cyclones. August. Aaron Longshore, one of the quarterbacks. Joe Brown, the other one inside. Ronnie Osborne and John Arnault, who is known as Landmark. Landshark. Landshark, yeah. Landshark. He can high jump seven feet. He's an athlete. The play gains three, the Aztecs, at the 33-yard line with a second and seven. Kobler, back to pass again. Fires over the middle, tight end. John Jessup at the 45 and brought down immediately. Jessup slipped behind the linebackers underneath the coverage. Took it in from Kobler. And looks close to first down yardage, and it is. First down Aztecs. Tackled by cornerback Darren Longshore. The Aztecs are taking advantage of the short passes. Iowa State's in a zone coverage, and they have a fine defensive secondary. They're only uh, giving up about 31% of the passes. We'll see this again. Match is going out. Jessup coming across the middle in the zone. It's that little seam. Nice game. We're blitzing outside linebackers, and both running backs stayed in for maximum Back protection. Up. First down at the 25. Aztecs show motion now. Roberts motion left. Get Bull Williams off left tackle. A little hole. Fights his way downfield at 21. Close to the 20-yard line. Gary Bull Williams out of Long Beach. A 5'10", 425-pound senior. Stop made by middle linebacker Chris Washington. Ron, we'll see it again. Uh, Donnie Roberts is leading. He throws a good block in there, and Bull just comes in there. Washington making a fine tackle. He had a great game last week against uh, Oklahoma. He was on 17 tackles. So he's a pretty capable middle linebacker, number 54, Chris Washington for Iowa State. Ball placed at the 21-yard line, so it'll be a four-yard gain. Second down, six coming up for the Aztecs. No score. We're in the first quarter. He played the three minutes. Copeland. Back to pass. Blitz is on. Dumps it over the middle again. Complete tight end. Just up to the 15. Senior John Jessup from up in Tustin takes in the pass. And tackled by safety John Arnault. Close to first down yardage for San Diego State. And the officials say yes, sir. Iowa State's trying to put some added pressure on. They're blitzing their outside backers. San Diego State has a good plan for it. They just take that tight end right down across the middle. Fine play by uh, Jessup. Good read by Matt Poplar. John with two receptions. This is the eighth play coming up in the drive. Aztecs with a first and ten. Just inside the Iowa State 15-yard line. Safeties are lined up 10 yards off the line of scrimmage. Copeland back to pass. Quick drop fires. Look in. Complete. Sampson at the three. Boy, the corner on the left side. Darren Longshore is playing soft. Sampson with a slant in. Nice reception on a pass from Matt Copeland. Another first down. Matt's really on today. He's throwing the ball real good. We have another shot of it here. Just a quick slant into Sampson. He may have spotted something in that Iowa State secondary. Great catch. Well, surprisingly, down close to the goal line, uh, they were playing soft on that side of the field, and Matt spotted it as Clint Sampson takes in that pass. And so the Aztecs with the first and goal at the Iowa State four. Matt is five for six, passing 37 yards on this drive. On first down, Kip. Donnie Roberts, three, two, touchdown, Aztecs! The way to start off the game. Well, Donnie Roberts, junior running back. Here he is again. No, Dill Yarbrough, the pulling guard, coming around. He throws a nice block here on number 26, the cornerback, Darren Longshore, and enables Donnie Roberts to go right in. Nice Aztecs. block by Yarbrough. 6 nothing. Aztecs lead it. Dave Meyer come on to try the extra point. Out of the hold of Mike Jeslin. Just like that, the Aztecs get their hands on the ball. First possession, go in for a score. 11.47 to go. First quarter, San Diego State nothing. Iowa State, or San Diego State seven. Iowa State nothing. Ball Honda just had the great day the back deep. First off, kickoff returner. Myers kickoff. High, booming kickoff. Into the end zone. Wade, five yards deep. He's going to run it out. And he stops. He went to the one yard. It's going to be a safety, I believe. It should be. He went to the one and then stepped back in. And that's what the Aztecs are arguing about. They're going to call it a touchback. Should be a safety run. Oh, I would say so. That's we'll see it right here. He's trying to come out. His foot is over that line. It should that's be a safety. Line. And the guy pushes right back into the end zone. Oh, I should be a safety. 
Boy, my country, that's a safety. But the officials didn't see it that way, so now we'll look at the Vaunted Iowa State offense, I formation with Dwayne Crutchfield, the tailback, number 45. On first down, the 20-yard line. There's Crutchfield to the right side. Small hole, cracks through it to the 23, and dropped there. Mike Fox came up to make the hit. Well, that's about as fancy as you'll see Iowa State today. They may run a few pit a pitches to Crutchfield, but basically he'll run in off tackle between the two tackles. That's where he's the most dangerous. The San Diego State defensive game plan is to make him bounce. Or he couldn't cut, cut it up. He had to bounce out a little. Mike Fox comes in, fills the hole real well. That was a good tackle by Mike Fox, hitting a much bigger and stronger man. Three-yard gain, second down, seven Cyclone. Again, the right side, short side of the field. Crutchfield gets to the 25 and hit down. That's about all. Helen Dale in on that tackle. Today's game brought to you by a part by Budweiser at home at the work or play Aztec fans. Remember, this Bud's for you. Third down, five. Quarterback is John Quinn. He's a 57% passer on the year. They'll go to the reverse. Coming around this time. There's the flanker who is clear, Rocky Gillis at the 50. Aztec territory, the 30. He may go all the way. Tripped up from behind at the 23. Elvin Bush coming, making the saving tackle. Rocky Gillis, who was the tailback originally two years ago, beaten out by Crutchfield. Here he comes. See it again. They just fake it to Crutchfield. Get it. And he's off to the races. And he is quick. Rocky Gillis returning after two weeks of uh, being sidelined with an injury. Bernadine being cut down, and it's from behind. Oh, oh my! A 58-yard run by Gillis, but there is a penalty. I thought that Bernadine hit was a clip, but I didn't see a flag. The officials did. Carry by number eight, Gillis. Carry 45 yards. So it'll be a 15-yard walk-off for the Cyclones. Puts the football at the Aztec 45. And the Cyclones are, in fact, in Aztec territory. Michael Wade, number 46, their wide receiver. First down, Iowa State. Flanker is Rocky Gillis. The fullback is Jerry Lorenzen. And the tailback, Dwayne Crutchfield. The tight end, Dan Johnson, a 6'4", a senior. So here's Quinn, senior quarterback out of North Des Moines, on first down. Gets to the fullback, Lorenzen. Hold the right side to 40, 35, and to the 33 of San Diego State before being halted down for what should be about a 12-yard game. Jerry Lorenzen, a 6'2 junior from Rhineback, Iowa. He was a wide receiver last year. Just a quick handoff to the first man through. He cuts back into the opening. It's a nice little hole there. Nice stick there by Mike Fox coming in, helping out along with uh, Daryl Hall. Lorenzen has 113 yards rushing on the year, 5.7 average. That was only his 21st carry. They get to Crutchfield mostly. First and 10, Cyclone. There's Lorenzen again, the fullback up the middle, a hole. And he gets down to the 25. The 20 breaks another tackle. Still running. Finally, the Aztecs run him out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Tough little runner. Fullback Jerry Lorenzen. He's trying to take the pressure off of uh, Crutchfield by giving to the fullback. We have a little trap here. Left guard Ted Clapper coming in there, making the trap lock, enabling you know, Lorenzen to break through that hole for some extra yards. Breaking the tackle there by Hall and coming over is Elvin Bush. Just along like, with Ellendale. Just like that, the Cyclones are right down, knocking on the door. Sixth play of this drive coming up. They start at their own 20-yard line. Now they're at the Aztec 12 on the first down. This time, pullback again. Lorenzen hit by Allendale, stood up, and then he falls forward across the 10 to the 8-yard line. Oh, number 51, Allendale, the Aztecs right inside right. linebacker, a 6'1 junior from Escondido. In on the tackle, number 51, Allendale. He placed the ball at the 7-yard line. That'll be a five-yard game, second down five coming up. Nine and a half minutes to play first quarter. Aztecs lead seven to nothing. And the Cyclones right there. Trying to tie it up. Gillis that's out wide to the left. Serrato wide right. Here's Crutchfield at the right side to the five-yard line and hit down. Rick Reeder, linebacker, coming up to make the hit for San Diego State. Along with Ellen Dale. Ellen seems like he's in on every tackle at every ball game. He's having a tremendous season so far. Have another shot at it. Just a lead play with Crutchfield. Looking for a running room. Ellen Dale and Rick Reeder filling the hole perfectly. 
Sports Network broadcast of this Aztec game is granted by authority of the NCAA and San Diego State University. And the use of this telecast without the express written consent of the NCAA and San Diego State University is prohibited. Announcers for this game are hired and employed by Sports Network and San Diego State. Give Crutchfield at the four at the three-yard line. The Aztecs stack him up there. It's going to be close to first down yardage. Once again, here comes the onside guard pulling the kick out. As you can see, 72 kicking out on Jerome Franey, the linebacker. He did a good job by moving it back to the inside. And Bill Fairbrother coming over, making a nice stick in the hole. Well, he does pound people at Crutchfield. Look at that. Just well, coming into this game, just under 600 yards in four outings. He's averaging just a little less than 150 yards a game. The uh, measurement, a little short of first down yardage. So it is fourth and inches for Iowa State at the three-yard line of the Aztecs. Crutchfield again. Hops high over the line, has the first down. The Aztecs stop him short of the goal line, but it looks like he's got first down yardage. He just hurtled. See it again. It's just nothing more than basic lead play, fullback leading in, and Crutchfield just taking off to get the one yard. Met up there pretty good by Ellen Dale, but Ellen's given away a lot of uh, a lot of inches. He's given he's Ellen's 6'1, 195, Crutchfield's at 246 at 6'1, so he's given away a few pounds. Eight minutes to play, first quarter. Cyclones with a first down and goal at the one-yard line. As six know about goal line defenses. Yeah, Crutchfield again, a high over the line for a touchdown for Iowa State. Wayne Crutchfield. Well, the Cyclones get a touchdown the first time they get their hands on the ball, moving 80 yards. Here it is again. This once again the same play they went with for the first down. It's the lead play out of the I formation with Crutchfield diving over the top. Ironically, they did not throw a pass on that drive. No, they did not. That's right. So it's now a 7-6 to six ball game, and Alex Giffords will come on to try the extra point. He is 9 for 9 in extra points this year. Trying to tie up the ball game. Snap, ball is down, the kick's on its way. A liner, and looks wide. He just hooked it. He shanked a field goal try from short distance at Oklahoma last week. Now he hooks this one. So, 7.53 to go. It's Aztec 7, Iowa State 6. You know, on TV, I play the manager of a crazy radio station. But now I'd like to talk to you about a real and a very special station right here in San In their territory. Serrato sets out wide to the left. Gillis in the wing to the left. More in the slot. High formation. And this is Crutchfield at right tackle. Hole at the 40. Mike Fox hits him. He falls forward to the 36-yard line. Wayne Crutchfield, senior out of Cincinnati. 6'1", 240. Have another shot of it. Nothing fancy. Just a quick pitch out of the eye formation. Yeah, I think they only have about three or four plays. And uh, one's just a lead handoff, another's a pitch. And then we have a trap with Crutchfield. But that's about all you're going to see them running. They're very basic. They've got the horses up front, and they got the great back to be able to run just straight ahead, simple plays. At the 37-yard line, second down, five Cyclones. Win. Pullback, Lorenzo up the middle. Is hit, bites his way forward across the 20, 35, down to the 33 of San Diego State. And a stop made by the Aztecs outside linebacker Rick Reeder. Close to first down yardage, about a yard short. As you take a look at Jerry Lorenzo. Inside of two minutes, a minute 50 to go. As you note, the Aztecs nicked three times for penalties, the Cyclones once. Third down one, Iowa State. Crutchfield at right tackle to the 30 and the 29 and looks to have first down yardage. Wayne Crutchfield. Another shot, it's just a quick lead. Nothing fancy once again. They're just straight ahead football. Crutchfield leaping over. Rick Reeder hitting him and then a whole slew of Aztecs coming in. One thing that's really going to help the Aztecs today is they're a great aggressive team. They get to the ball, they have good pursuit, and they do a lot of gang tackling. So hopefully that'll cut down Crutchfield's uh, gains to a minimum. Uh, his club has a first and 10 at the Aztec 29-yard line. It's their second possession. They've moved the ball each time they've had it. They have not thrown it as yet. On first down, pullback. Lorenzen, hole up the middle, hits an umpire, which helps the Aztecs. Now he fumbles, loose ball. And do the Aztecs get it? Yes, Aztecs recover. We'll see it again. Just a quick trap, number 68. Walt Schneider trapping in there. Lorenzen runs into the official. Saves a big game. Alvin Bush coming in, making a tackle. But I believe the 
going to rule that his knee hit and he was down before the fumble. And you're right, Bob, they are. So it'll be second down and one for the Cyclones. At the 20-yard line. The crowd doesn't like the call by the official. Gillis, fake motion, goes back. And now the give, Crutchfield, left side, gets about one yard as the Aztecs stack him up at the 19-yard line. Very close for first down yardage. Well, and the officials say he did, in fact, get the necessary yardage for a first down. So Cyclones keep the drive alive, first and 10, at the 19-yard line of San Diego State. 33 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Aztecs lead 7-6, Cyclones threatening. This drive, Crutchfield has carried seven times for 27 yards. Here's another carry on the pitch to the right side. The 20, tripped up, falls forward to the 18-yard line. Nice play, cornerback Dave Crudup came out. Forcing from his left cornerback position, came up, made a fine play. Dave's a good athlete. He's, he doesn't have the size. He's 5'9", about 180, but he's real strong. He bench presses over 400 pounds. Here you see him coming in on Lorenzen. That was Cuts through the block and... Keeps his head upfield and keeps going, fighting, knocking down Crutchfield. Real nice play by Dave Crudup. And that's the end of the first quarter. So the scoreboard shows Aztecs 7, Cyclones 6. Back with second quarter action right after this. Dave, Once again, Dave Crudup, nice play. So it'll bring up a fourth down as Gillis is now up. Number four, Leaks. Frankie Leakes were replacing at flanker. Giffords missed a one from the six yard line last week. He also missed an extra point tonight. Kicking this one from the 20, so it's a 30 yard try. Ball's down, it kicks on its way. No good, wide to the left. The crowd loves it. What a break. Missed an extra point and a field goal. All right, Aztecs hanging on to a 7 6 lead, and we'll be back right after this. First down at the 30. Fullback Lorenzen runs into one of his own players, and then the Aztecs get to him after a pickup of a couple of yards to the 27-yard line. Bottom of the pile for San Diego State. It's Thomas Carter in it, uh, outside linebacker now. Carter, 6'2", 215, a senior from San Fernando. It's a four-yard game. Stop by number 55. Crutchfield Thomas carried for 70 yards. Lorenzo, the fullback, for 56. Second down, seven. Cyclones at the Aztec 27. The score is 7 6. Aztecs lead by one. This time the give is to Tommy Davis. In a tailback in place of Crutchfield, Davis, a freshman out of East St. Louis, Illinois, carries the ball to the 23 yard line. We have a pitch here. They like to get Davis outside because he has 4-5 speed, and they figure if he could turn that corner, he's gone. And here was just a quick, ta quick tailback pitch. Alvin Bush coming over and making the tackle. Davis this season's carried the ball 18 times for 79 yards. Well, they obviously want to give him some experience because he is the tailback of the future. A little short of first down yardage at third and one Cyclones. High formation, Lorenzen and Davis are the setbacks. On third down, Davis. As the first down and more bangs down to the 15 to the 14 yard line. Number 22, Tommy Davis. Ball carrier. Boy, he once is again, quick. Once again, nothing fancy, just a quick handoff. And that offensive line is starting to take its toll on the San Diego State's defense. I think they're just a little too powerful, a little too strong for him. Well, from tackle to tackle, it goes 6 2, 6 7, 6 2, 6 5, 6 6. First and 10, Cyclones at the Aztec 13 yard line. Eight minutes to play in the half. Aztecs on top by one point, seven six. Cyclones did miss a field goal at 30 yards earlier. On first down. This is Crutchfield back in at the right side, bangs down to the 10. And the black shirted Aztec defense gets to him and slows him up and then halts him. Well, what will be a pickup of three? That's going to be a weary defense out there. They're out there all night long. These sure long is. drives, which of course is the philosophy in the Iowa State offense. They just want to wear you down. They have the size and the strength to be able to do it. And uh, when you have a runner like Crutchfield who punishes you almost as much as your offensive lineman does when they're making their blocks, it's, uh, it's an awesome attack. Second down, seven cycles from the 10. 
Crutchfield again, one yard only this time as the Aztecs get to him at the nine yard line and stand him up. Bill Fairbrother, number 50, there you see a shot of him made the play. We'll see it again. Once again, nothing, nothing really fancy. He tried to run straight up the middle and there's Fairbrother holding his ground and making the play. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by KCBQ, 1170 AM, San Diego's finest country music station. Third down and six for the Cyclones. They are four for six on third down conversions. This time, Crutchfield, the right side, gets a block and it is hit by Allen Dale and halted at the seven yard line. Good defense by Allen Dale, number 51. See it again. He wanted to turn it up, but then he bounced it out. Allen Dale scraping off from his inside linebacker spot, puts a good tackle on him. Mike Fox comes up, Daryl Hall. Of course, Doug Reed from his defensive tackle spot coming down, helping out. Well, it's fourth down for the Cyclones, and they were going to try a field goal, but now they decide to take a timeout for the Cyclones. Once again, as you see quarterback Quinn calling the timeout, to come over and talk to coach Donnie Lorenzo. And it's 7-6 Aztecs. We'll be back right after this. The end. They will go for the field goal again. Alex Giffords missed one from 30, now trying one from 25 yards out. The right hash mark ball is down. The kick is on its way, and it is good. So the Cyclones get a field goal from Alex Giffords, and they go in front of the ball game now by a score of 9 to 7. 7.43 to play in the half. Picking up the play, it's the Aztecs ball. Matt Copeland comes up under center, Matt Law. Aztecs with a slot formation to the right. Copeland back to pass again. Has time, has time. Now fires and completes it at midfield. Under heavy pressure, it was Craig Ellis out of the backfield with Doug Fisher all over it. Boy, uh, Matt didn't see you at Jim Boutreau, 15 yards upfield, was wide open. Right. We'll see it again. They're in man-to-man -man coverage. Boutreau was on 85, George Jesson. Had him beat pretty bad. Matt didn't see him. He dumps it off to Ellis. Fisher, 61, the linebacker, making the play. It's a gain of six. See it again here. Matt looking around. Looked right for Ellis. Looked like a little interference. He might have hit him before he even got the I ball. I wondered about that, yeah. So the Aztecs are at midfield with a third and four. Nine to seven score. Cyclones lead it. Long count, line of scrimmage. Copeland, quick drop, fires out pattern. Coming out of the backfield, Ellis again. Takes it sliding to one knee. Boy, Craig has become a very good receiver. Lonnie Osborne right there. And it looks to be a little bit short of first down yardage. As Kofler had to dump the ball off quickly under pressure. Now, fourth down and one for San Diego State. Crowd wants him to go for it. Decision time. We'll see it again. Matt just wants to get the first down. He gets Ellis out of the backfield. Throws it a little behind him. And that was the reason for him. He had to turn back to get the ball and lost his footing. I think they're going to throw the ball. All right, got Fogel and Ellis as the setbacks. Durham to the left. And he is going to throw. Kofler back to pass on fourth down. Dumps it over. Complete. First down at the 40-yard line. Two. Tight end. Jim Botro. Tackled by Ronnie Osborne. That had a lot of time. I think they were playing a short, young, short yardage uh, defense. Here we see here Matt just standing back there waiting for Butro to come open. He was watching him all the way. He was the key receiver. See it again from another angle. Matt just waiting for Botro to get open, and he does. Oh, it's a first down Aztecs to the Cyclone 40 yard line. On first down, Kofler. Back to pass again. Blitz is on, steps up, he's gonna run it. Has running room at the 40. He's down to the 30. He's to the 22 yard line and run out of bounds. Matt Kofler picks up 18 yards and a first down. Iowa State was in a deep zone coverage. They were way back there. There was nobody between a receiver and uh, Matt, and he just picked up, what, 26 yards on that? We'll 18 see it again. Yards, 18 yards. 18 yards. Again, nobody, everybody's covered. Matt just sees there's a lot of running room, and he takes off. Made a wise decision down there. Instead of t uh, challenging Ron Osborne at safety, he just runs out of bounds. There's no sense taking any extra shots. But unfortunately, back up field, there is an injured Aztec as we take another look at it from a different angle. You see the blitzing linebacker there, George Jessen, tripped up. And that's where the pressure was, and Matt ran away from it. All right, here's Matt stepping out with 5.20 to go and a half. Aztecs trail by two, 9-7. And while they attend, the Aztec injured player will be back right after this. 
Ball Honda just had the greatest winning season in their history. Over 600 new 1981 Hondas sold this past summer. Well, now, Ball Honda continues that same game plan. We're offering you the biggest selection of 1982 Hondas in stock and in transit at the same or even lower discount prices other dealers are charging for their leftover 81s. Kevin Howe, Aztecs have a first and 10 of the Cyclone 22. Sideline left, open field to the right. Kofler on first down. Back to pass, blitz is on, dumps it off. Fogel out of the backfield. And in trouble and hit out of bounds at around the 22-yard line as he couldn't get going. And Steve ran into George Jessen, outside linebacker, 6'2", junior, out of Newland, Minnesota. It's just a quick screen. We see it right here. Blitzing linebacker Fisher. Throw it over his head, but Jessen had man-to-man -man coverage coming up from his linebacker spot making the play. No gain on the play. It'll be a second down and 10. And there you see Mr. George Jessen. Hopefully so far is 13 for 16 in passing. He has a second down and 10 now. Matt operating from the left hash mark. Back to pass. Fires coming out of the backfield. Jessup, who drops the ball? John Jessup, the tight end, had some running room, started to turn up field, and did so without possession of the ball. And that's a sight you won't see too often from the Aztec tight ends, either Jessup or Botro, is that dropping the ball. He just never got a real good handle on it. And Flat out slipped away. Yes. What else can you say? So the incomplete pass will bring up a third and ten for the Aztecs. They are two for five in third down conversions. At the 22 of the Cyclones, we have five ten left to play in the half. Vogel and Ellis are the setbacks. On third down. Kofler, straight back, draw, quarterback draw, but the Cyclones were blitzing right up that hole, or else Matt would have big yardage and ultimately gets nothing. Doug Fisher, the linebacker. Along so, with 54, uh, Chris Washington, the middle linebacker. They were just blitzing right up the middle. We'll see it again here. The tackles were stunning. The middle linebacker just comes right up the hole. There he is. Makes the play. Yeah, luck of the draw, as they say. But it's a guessing game, offense and defense. And Matt ultimately loses three. So at the 24-yard line, the Aztecs halted with fourth down, and on comes Dave Meyer to try a field goal. Trying to get the Aztecs the lead again out of the hold of Jeslin from the 31. So it'll be a 41 yard field goal. Ball is down. A kick is on its way. And it's good. Dave Meyer, 41 yard field goal. The Aztecs regain the lead from Iowa State by a score of 10 to 9. We have 426 to go in a half. And there's Dave Meyer from Texas. He's come through the ball real strong, keeps his head down, follows through. He knew it was good the minute he flipped up. He's had successful field goals of 23, 48, 52, and now 41 yards. Back to the action. It's the Cyclones in possession. He's noticing something. Quinn was throwing on the sideline to uh, Dan Johnson, their tight end, so they may come out throwing the ball a little. Set up Vinny Serrato wide to the left. They have three backs in there. And on the reverse, coming around, Crutchfield in trouble behind the line of scrimmage. The Aztecs hold him. Boy, Todd Seabaugh did a job of chasing him and got some help from his pals, Jerome Franey and Alan Dale. Yeah. Seems like Allen's in on every play. Seven tremendous year. We'll see it again. They put Crutchfield in the wing and run the same play that they ran with Rocky Gillis, but he just doesn't have the speed Gillis does. Good play by Seabaugh. And here come the host of the Aztecs. All the linebackers were there. He's replaced by Davis. It is second down nine, Cyclones. And here's Quinn rolling left, looking up field to pass. Pressure stops now, throws, intercepted by the Aztecs. Mike Fox at the 28-yard line. Mike read that perfectly from his free safety spot. He was sitting back there just watching Quinn. Once Quinn threw the ball, he just broke it. Here we'll see it again. It's just a rollout. They fake the, uh, the reverse. Quinn stops, gets a little pressure, tries to force it in. Here comes Mike Fox, reading it beautifully, picking it up. And it's a big break for the Aztecs. They get good field position. They have another angle. Got a little pressure. He's trying to go to number four, Frankie Leakes. Here's another shot of Mike picking the ball up. And we have a penalty. All right, so Mike Fox with the interception. That is his second of the year. That's the fourth time Quinn has been intercepted. And there is a penalty, which I did not see. I did not either. Or after the play. Oh, it's late hit on the Aztecs. All right, trying to, I guess, get a block and help Fox. And that's going to cost the Aztecs of the ball at the 27. Great field position. It's moved back all the way to the 43-yard line, 42-yard line. And that was a fourth interception for uh, Quinn. 
It's ironic, the uh, Cyclones have not scored a touchdown through the air this season. Everyone has been on the ground. All right, Bob, let's see if the, as we have our first turnover, the Aztecs can take advantage of it. They're 42 yards away, and they have four minutes, eight seconds to go. A touchdown here, putting him in the locker room at halftime, really put him in great shape. That penalty didn't help, but Durham sets up to the left. Sampson to the right. Setbacks are Ellis and Fogel. Kofler on first down from the Cyclone 42-yard line. Matt, straight back to pass. Sets up. Now pressured, rolling out of there, looking upfield. Finds a receiver now, throws upfield to Smith. He has the ball at the 13-yard line. Oh, my. Phil Smith, a converted quarterback, 30-yard reception. Nice catch. The pass was a little behind him. He had good concentration. He held on the ball. He took a great shot from uh, Darren Longshore, and he still had a, held on to it. Great concentration by Smith. He's running a long corner pattern. Matt sees him. He didn't have enough time to get set. He had a little off the ball. There was a good shot. That was by uh, number 16, Ronnie Osborne, making the tackle. You see Matt rolling a little. He didn't get all on the ball that he wanted to. Now, but Smith, Smith wisely got open. Yes, he did. So the Aztecs have a first and 10 at the Iowa State 13-yard line. Knocking on the door again. Kofler rolls left, looks up field. Still looking. Now fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Aztecs! Jim Botro. Great composure by Matt Kofler. He wanted to go to Durham running a quick out. As you see right here, he's tied up. He has nowhere to go. And then he spots Botro in the end zone, waving his arm. Jim Jumps makes a fine catch. We'll see it again. That's primary receiver being covered. Looks across the field and sees Botro jumping up and down the end zone, and there's a great catch. For another touchdown. For Jim Botro, that is his second touchdown reception. He caught one against Colorado State. The opener, Aztecs now lead 16 to 9. Meyer on to try the extra point try. Out of the hold of Jeslin. It kicks on its way. It is perfect. So just like that, after the interception by Mike Fox, the Aztecs only take a couple of plays, and they score a touchdown. And that touchdown will cost Dave Ball $100. Well, Dave what? doesn't mind. I don't think so. Uh, Dave Ball, Ball Oldsmobile Honda, donating $100 for every Aztec touchdown to the Aztec Athletic Foundation. It's halftime, and we'll return with the Doug Scoville Show right after these messages. 40, Donnie Roberts. Finally stopped by Ronnie Osborne. Some great blocking downfield with wide receivers. Enabling, we'll see it again right here. Matt's looking downfield, he's trying to go to the tight end. Comes off, comes it to Roberts. Here comes a couple fine blocks. Here's one right here, can't you tell who made the block. Then Samson and Smith downfield making some fine blocks. Boy, it looked like disaster. The Aztecs got something out of it. First down at the 38 yard line. Ellis in the backfield now for San Diego State. That's Kofler to pass again. Pressured, trying to step out of there. Dumps it off and incomplete. Intended for either Craig Ellis or Jim Butro. Essex have had some injuries in the first half. Joyer Stabline is out. He's injured on crutches. Also, Steve Allman was hurt. It looks like Brad Wormus might have been hurt. He came walking out late out of the uh, locker room, but he didn't have a helmet or a shoulder pads on, so I don't know what's going on there. Meanwhile, Crutchfield hurt first a thigh and then twisted an ankle. That was the last injury. Gillis hurt that original knee, and he is probably through for the night. We'll see when the Cyclones run offense. Kofler is 18 for 25 for 202 yards. He's looking at a second down and 10 right now. Matt, long count, by the scrimmage. And speaks to Ellis, back to pass. Fires out, all open, Kerry Williams at the 40, one man to beat at the 30, and finally hauled down at the 21 by Joe Brown. Oh, Kerry Williams. Great play, it was play action. Nobody picked up Williams, he just snuck out in that secondary all by himself. We'll see it again. Play phase, Matt rolls out to the right side, he comes back to the long side of the field, and there's Williams all by himself, streaking down. Nice touch on the ball by Matt Koffler. Williams making a fine grab. Brought down by 19, Joe Brown. Again. Look at it again, across the back. That's a hard pass to throw. He had a great touch on it. Look at that, perfectly thrown. 34, Bull Williams. 41 yards and a first down. The Aztecs are at the Cyclone 20 with a first down. 
Ofler rolls right, looks to the end zone, fires off instead to Durham at the 10, thrown a little bit behind him, he couldn't haul it in. He was one-on-one -on -one with Darren Longshore, the quarterback out of Massillon, Ohio. He ran a good pattern, he ran a great pattern, he was open, the ball was just a little underthrown. Thrown behind him. All right, game being brought to you in part by Budweiser. Aztec fans, remember, for all you do, this Bud's for you. Aztecs. As we note, Crutchfield playing in the locker room, returning to the Cyclone bench. 17-9 to the score. Aztecs lead. They have a second and ten at the Cyclone 21 yard line. rolls right again. Blitzes on, rolling away from pressure, looking to the end zone, and is still running. And finally, Matt just runs out of real estate and running out of bounds, knocked out by linebacker Doug Fisher at the 26 yard line. There will be a loss of five yards. They, they sent everybody here. They had good man to man coverage by the defensive secondary. There you see number 25, Terry Rogers, one of the, I mean, Tony Carlson, one of the safeties coming in. And then Fisher, the linebacker, was also blitzing. Trying to get a little more pressure on uh, Matt this half than they did the first half. I noticed in this half, the Aztecs are using Matt in rolls now instead of straight back. Uh, rolling away from pressure as you look at Crutchfield on the sideline. Eighth play of this drive. Durham sets up wide to the right. Bill Smith to the left. It is third down and 16. Hopefully straight back this time. Sets up running out of there at the 30. 25, 20, open field, 10, 5, touchdown Aztecs! Wide open field, they were in man-to-man -man coverage, all the receivers going over to the left side, took the defensive backs with them, and there was nobody there. He could have walked in. Well, the wideouts just ran everybody out. See it again, they all ran across the top of the screen. Matt sees a wide open field, he just takes off, and he has that great speed, which is a definite asset for quarterback to be able to run the ball. Not nobody near him. Not a white shirt near him. There he is, Matt Kofler, going in for the touchdown. His third of the year. See it again from a different angle. See no one around, all by himself. Right in. Closest guy was about 10 yards away. So the touchdown makes it now 23 to 9. Aztecs, Dave Meyer on to try to add the extra point. Kicks on its way, and it is good. Well, the Aztecs come out of the locker room, opening the third quarter with a touchdown. 12.32 to go, and it's now San Diego State 24, Iowa State 9, back. This is Wade at the 4-yard line, up to the 10, 15, and traffic breaks through at the 20, 25, and then the Aztecs haul him down to the 26-yard line. There he is, Michael Wade. Matt Kofler tonight, 19 of 27 for 243 yards. He's run in a touchdown, and he's thrown for a while. He's having a great evening. Well, interesting enough, coming into the ball game as a team, the Aztecs averaging 23 points a game, giving up 15. Iowa State averaging 18.7. Rowdy giving up 12.7. First down, Cyclops. And on first down, Davis, the tailback, hit. Final Lashley gets away, fumbles. Aztecs recover. What a great break to open up that half. A touchdown and now a fumble, put him back in scoring position. The Aztec defense is really sticking out there. They had some good pops in there. I don't know who made the first hit at the line of scrimmage. They jarred Davis right back. I believe it was Doug Reed, but let's see on the replay. See it again. There's Davis. Fair brother hit him. Vance had a and shot. Reeder. Reeder knocked the ball out. And Doug Reed fell on it. Second turnover of the ball game. The Aztecs have scored four of the last six times they've had the ball. Now they get it at the 25-yard line of Iowa State. On first down, Kofler. Rolls right, looks upfield, looking for Durham. Darius is wide open in the end zone. He catches a touchdown, Aztecs! Great play, I think he was going to Botro and Darius is just jumped right in front of him and caught it. Once again, the Cyclones were in the blitz. They had the two outside backers coming, forcing them into man-to-man -man coverage. And that's what the Aztecs want. Their wide receivers are doing a great job beating the defensive secondary for Iowa State. We'll see it again. Comes the linebacker, Jessen, on the top, number 85, coming through on a blitz. Matt lost it up. He's going to Botro. Right here, Darius just jumps right in front of him. Actually, Darius intercepted from Botro. Botro, that's what it was. 
a touchdown for San Diego State. That's another $100 to the Aztec Athletic Foundation from Dave Ball to Ball Oldsmobile Honda, National City. Dave donates $100 for every Aztec touchdown. Here's an extra point by Meyer. It's good. As the Aztecs score touchdowns within seven seconds, now it is San Diego State 31, Iowa State 9. Nine yard line on first down. Matt Kopler sets his club. Might be calling an audible. He's back to pass. Sets up. Has some time. Now dumps it off out of the backfield. Bull Williams again. 35, 40. Still running. Goes to the 43 yard line. The Bull takes a pass over the middle. Rambles for 15 yards. Finally tackled by linebacker Chris Washington. Iowa State's taking those deep zone drops, and that's enabling the backs coming out of the backfield. And to get, he gets a five yard gain, and he can run for another 10 or 15 yards before they can react up and make the play. It's good to see. It's good to see. We'll see this again. There it is. Quick one right to. Uh, now look at all the open Bowling. area. A lot of open area. It gets another 10 or 15 yards before they can react up. It's good to see that the Aztecs are sticking with their game plan because there's still a lot of time left in the ballgame. 10 22 to play in the third quarter. First down, Aztecs their own 43. Kofler will go to the air again. Matt sets up, has time, dumps it off again out of the backfield. This time it's Darius Durham on a drag pattern coming over. Now a flag goes down as Darius takes it. It's about five yards to the 48 yard line. We'll see what the call is. Game has been relatively uh, penalty free, not too many. I believe five in the first half is all. Here's Matt. We see it again. They're in a the blitz one on one, and he goes right to Durham. And Darius leaps forward for a nice catch. Two. Donnie Roberts was open also out in the flat. He had a linebacker beat. This will be against the Cyclones. More yardage for the Aztecs. Might have been a face mask on the tackle. Of course, he had his back to us, so we couldn't see. Today's game being brought to you in part by Mr. A's, where good food and excellent service are considered arts. Mr. A's, Fifth Avenue Financial Center, Fifth and Laurel. Here's the call. There it is, face mask. Moves the football down to the 37 yard line. And the Aztecs continue to spend their time in Iowa State territory. That's where they belong, isn't it? First and 10 Aztecs. They're there again. Kofler looking over the defense. Matt, back to pass. Quick fires. Goal. Donnie Roberts, 30 at the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Aztecs. Awesome. Right now, Iowa State is so frustrated on defense. They're blitzing it. They're, that was a blitz. They had one-on-one -on -one coverage with uh, number 54, uh, Washington, on Donnie. He beat him, missed a the tackle. There's nobody else there. They're not used to seeing an offense like this in a big eight because they just play smash ball, sit there and beat each other up. And when they come to a highly sophisticated type offense, they get a little frustrated and they're not used to it. And that's what's happening with the Cyclones tonight. So Kofler throws again. for another touchdown right here. Don uh, Roberts scoring his one. second touchdown of the night. He got one rushing in the first touchdown. Now one as a pass receiver. That makes it 37 to nine. That also cost Dave Ball another hundred dollars. Ball also will go on to the Aztec Athletic Foundation. 37 to nine. Dave Meyer on to try to make it 38. Out of the hold of Mike Jeslin. Ball is down. Kick is on its way. It is good. So we have 9.47 to play in the third quarter. And it's now 38. Back to the action. It's the Cyclones in possession. It is third and 15. Four, Wade, three, so back to pass two. again. Now fires over the middle, completes it. Wade, and he's got a first down and more at the 20. Open field tackle, tripping him up. It was Darrell Hall saving a touchdown at the 19-yard line. Michael Wade shows he has pretty good speed also. We have an Aztec down on the field there. We'll see it again. It's a semi rollout and he hits the back coming out of the backfield. A lot of running room. Missed tackle by Boyer, number 44. Elvin Bush gets blocked. Good tackle by Hall to save a touchdown. Take a look again from another angle. Just a quick pass. Something out of the Aztec uh, passing attack. This young man has some fine speed. He's only a junior. He'll be back next year. He'll probably see a lot of action in the offensive backfield for the Cyclones. Injured man appears to be Alvin Bush. Is that right? Right. Yes, Alvin Bush. Alvin Sixwad, a junior from East St. Louis, Illinois. He's off with uh, Dr. Brown and trainer Bob Moore. A couple happy faces in the stands. It's nice when you win. Everybody smiles. You bet. 
So it's first and ten Cyclones. They are moving the football and doing it through the air. They're at the Aztec 18-yard line with a first down. High formation. Davis, tailback, right side. Gets a couple across the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Aztec defense. Gang tackling. Todd Seaball on the play for San Diego State. Along with Doug Reed. And about four other Aztecs. They've been gang tackling all night. They've been doing a fantastic job of that. Bernie's really got these kids fired up. They're playing way above their potential. They're small, they're very aggressive, and uh, they're just playing a heck of a ball game. So they've been playing, a, they've had a great season. They've been the cause of the 3 0, and hopefully it's going to be 4 0. It's been defense mostly. Eighth play of the drive coming out. Second down, seven, Cyclones. Quinn, the pass, sets up. Fires, completes it. Johnson, the tight end at the five, and knocked out of bounds just before going into the end zone at the one yard line. Mike Big. Fox and Todd Seabaugh knocking him out of bounds. There he is, a tight end, Dan Johnson, a good one. Yeah, he's a horse. He said earlier he's 6'4", 240 pounds, and he could run a 4'6", so uh, heavy load there. We'll see it again. Going to an out. He's wide open. Now he's just going to try to pull, him, pull his way into the end zone. Seabaugh and Fox knocking him out of bounds right about the one-yard line. Cyclones now trying to get back in his ball game. First and goal. The one, Davis diving in for the touchdown for the Cyclones. Tommy Davis, the tailback. So a very smart drive by Iowa State. Atypical of the Cyclones as they did it through the air mostly. Tommy Davis there scoring one yard out. Their second touchdown of the night. And that now makes it a 38 to 15 football game. I would guess they'll go for two. Although they really need touchdowns now. Once again, it's just a straight dive play with the tailback jumping over the top. Nothing fancy. Just want to get that ball in the end zone. Cyclones getting their second touchdown of the football game. They scored the first time they got their hands in the ball, have been throttled by the Aztecs ever since until this drive. They are, in fact, going to go for two. Quinn's going to try to pass for it. Has time. Sets up throws. Deep in the end zone. Man open. Johnson, the tight end. He takes it in for a two-point conversion. He was, one, he was man on man with Tom Carter, the linebacker, and uh, got away from him very easily. So the Cyclones tack on a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So now, as you'll see it again, the touchdown by Tommy Davis. He's dived right, dove right over the top. Good surge by the offensive line. And now the two-pointer. Quinn, plenty of time. Finds his tight end, Johnson, all open. Easy. So it is a 38 to 17 football game. That's the Cyclones score their second touchdown of the ball game. Let's we'll see if uh, that helps them momentum wise. Still plenty of time. 6 0 8 in the third quarter. Iowa State just went 78 yards in nine plays. Good was 4 for 5 passing on that drive. Aztecs beat nationally ranked BYU next Saturday night right here at San Diego Stadium. Don't miss this one. Could be for the WAC championship or a certain important one. Tickets available at the stadium gate F or select the seat offense. Alex Giffords to kick off. Does so. Bill Smith awaits the ball at the two. 15, 10. Looking for running room. Not much there. Gets to the 20. Surge forward for about two yards at the 22 yard line. And at that spot, the Aztecs will set up shop offensively on first and ten. Watch the pass being put back in the Aztec attack. Coach Doug Scoble at the Aston Line Company. Every Sunday at 10 a.m. Brought to you part of Aston Line Company, Coca-Cola bottlers of San Diego, Not All Styrus, and New Corp Corporation. I'm Ron Reno along with Bob Babbage, Jan Chapman, and Jim Thompson. First and ten as Matt Coker brings his club to the line. Matt's been caught in the air 31 times already tonight. First down. Takes the running play. Back to pass. Fires long. All open. Bo Williams again. Midfield. And pushed out of bounds at the 45 of Iowa State by Chris Washington, the linebacker. 33 yards. What they're doing is they're... Iowa State is running the man-to-man -man on the tight end and the fullback, and here the outside linebacker takes the tight end across the middle, and the middle linebacker is just not getting out on Bo Williams, and I believe it was the same defense that he was open with a little earlier when he caught that long pass in, uh, earlier in the third quarter. Well, and plus it's the same play, only they ran to the other, other side. side. As uh, the Aztecs, with a little fake, they'll roll one way and come back the other with the ball. 
Williams tonight has caught six passes for 104 yards. Copeland and the Aztecs at the Cyclone 45 yard line. First down. Pat, put it up again. Myers Smith, he drops the ball. Bill Smith over the middle in a crowd at the 38. Just flat out dropped it. He's not thrilled. He's a junior from Compton. Next quarterback, so he knows how. Next quarterback and a walk off. Oh, brings up a second attempt for San Diego State. Shot of the Aztecs coach, uh, Doug Scoble. Breathing a little easier now than he was in the first half. Yeah. If the Cyclones continue to throw, this one's not over yet. Durham sits out to the left, Sampson to the right as Smith walks off. On second down. Matt will put it up. Blitz is on, he's firing. Long, Darius Durham, he's got it to 10. The five, touchdown Aztecs. How easy it is. Iowa State in the blitz, they had man-to-man -man coverage, and once again, the Aztecs receivers are running great patterns, and they're showing that they have the speed to beat man-to-man -man coverage. There he is, Darius Durham, a happy man, as he gets that touchdown pass from Matt Kopler, 45 yards, and so Iowa State scores, and the Aztecs, kind of like a counterpuncher, come right back and deliver a blow to Iowa State with that touchdown. 44 to 17. Oh, well, Dave Meyer. Try another extra point out of the hole of Mike Jeslin. Ball's down. The kick is perfect. Oh, 5 46 left to play. Third period at San Diego Stadium. Look at that crowd. And Aztecs lead 45 17 because of this pass from Matt Kofler. Junior Darius Durham. Good pass, right on the money. Good catch by Durham, looking over his shoulder. The rest is just on his own. He beat quarterback Darren Longshore. See it again. Matt stays in the pocket real well and just lets the ball fly. Nice pass. This is a tough catch when you have to look over your shoulder. Picking up the play, it's the Aztec ball. Aztecs again with a wing formation. Here's Colford, put it up one more time. Comes it off, Bull Williams again, nice catch, but as he takes it out of the backfield, he is hit down by linebacker Chris Washington, who's played a fine ball game tonight. He's made tackles all over the field for what will ultimately be no game. What hurt was Matt threw the ball behind him. Good catch. Once again, it's a man-to-man -man coverage. They have the middle linebacker on the fullback. Washington comes out there and makes a fine play. I think with a better pass, he might have picked up maybe five or six yards on right. that. Got it again from a different angle. Watch this, a one-handed catch. Now look at this. Does that show me something? No gain. Third and five Aztecs. Hopefully we'll put it up again. Pops it off this time. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Tender for Jessup, the tight end. They're going a little behind him and almost picked up, I believe, by Chris Washington again, the linebacker, or Tony Carlson, the safety. Wonder if Matt's arm's getting tired. He's been throwing the heck out of the football today. Oh boy. He's thrown the ball 36 times tonight. So that's fourth down. The Aztecs will punt. Mike Jeslin comes on. This will be his what, fourth punt. Third punt. Third punt of the night. Jeslin will be kicking from his own 30. Michael Wade awaiting the ball at the 10. Aztecs lead it 45 to 17. Low snap. One hop. Kick is blocked by Iowa State. Bounding around upfield. Break for the Aztecs. It's at midfield. Into Cyclones. Cyclones fumble it. And then I believe, no, Aztecs had a shot but couldn't quite get it. Oh, Aztecs almost got a big break now. It's been a problem with the Aztecs all year so far as the long snap or even the short snap on the extra points and field goals. So here it is, a low snap. Jeslin, Two bouncer. under pressure, tries to get it away. Blocked by Iowa State. And then uh, it was George Jessen, a linebacker. Now it's a loose ball, and number 19 comes over. He fumbles it, but it goes out of out bounds, bounds, saving it for them. That was cornerback Joe Brown. Cyclones with their best field position of the night to start a drive at their own 49 yard line. Win, snap, and the center keeps the ball to now flags. The center. Jim Meyer <laughs> gets a rush, and he picked up two, three yards. That's what we used to do when we were eight, nine years old. You remember that? Your center would fake it or get a handoff back. 
from the quarterback and move forward. He tried to snap and found out it was too early, so he just put it up in his stomach and took off. We'll watch it right here. All right, that's a great there shot. There's a snap. Whoop, he gets oh, a pat. Oh, 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 heck with it. I'll just carry it up. Heck, I'll just carry it up field. When Nebraska pulled out last year, they handed off to the guard when he was pulling. That was That's against right. Oklahoma. Except here, it doesn't work. It's illegal. Five-yard walk-off. Boy, Meyer, you know, you mentioned an interesting comment, Bob. They've gone from AstroTurf to natural grass, and obviously for a center, that's a problem. All right, it sticks in the uh, turf. Look at the same friction. First and 15. Back to pass again. Quinn has time. Throws long, all open, and dropping the ball is Hobson at the 42. Boy, was he open. All by himself. And I think right now Iowa State's just going through the motions. They just want to go home and get out of here, get ready for next week. Quinn just setting back. He throws the ball very well. Boy, he does have an ice arm. Just total frustration. So that brings up a second and 15. They have two tenths left to play. Third period. Aztecs on top, 45-17. John Quinn, senior. Back to pass one more time. Sets up. Completes it this time, tight end Dan Johnson at the 48 of the Aztecs, and then a haul down there. Alan Dale, the linebacker over there. Vernon Dean and State. Rick Boyer, all three of them. Still gang tackling, though. See it again, it's just tight end coming across the middle. Quinn fires it in. He's all by himself. The Aztecs are just playing his own coverage. They're going to give everything underneath and nothing deep. Well, that play picked up seven yards, so it'll be third and eight. Looks like we're going to have a penalty tack on, too. So instead of third and eighth, they're going to get a first down out of it because of the penalty against San Diego State. 15 yard walk off a major one. Carries a deep in the Aztec territory. 32 yard line. Maybe a late hit on a quarterback because I know Quinn was laying down on the ground holding his head. Is that what it Well, let's see. We've got a lot of finger pointing. A first down. Sir, what is the call? Yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. Rubbing the pass. Cyclones with a first down now in Aztec territory. Line up in the eye formation. Brings Hobson in motion. Back to pass. Deep drop. Sets up. Myers completes Johnson the tight end. And Dan, big guy, pounds a couple of little Aztecs and then goes out of bounds. Notably Thomas Carter and Alan Dale. Aztec linebackers are going to learn uh, drops. They sure are. In this game. They're going to be real sore tomorrow. They've had a couple of loads. Just Johnson's no uh, small kid. And of course, Crutchfield took a bidding there in the first half. They were on the field for, what, 40, 42 plays? Oh, boy, yeah. One and a half to one type of ratio. Aztecs faced Robin Gabriel of New Mexico last week. John Quinn. Second down, five. Quinn will put it up one more time. This time has to now fires and it's dropped. Johnson, the tight end, dropped the ball coming over the middle. The tight end delay coming over the middle. He has been open. He's standing blocking, making sure that the Aztecs aren't blitzing, and then he blocks for a thousand, one thousand, two, and then he cuts across the middle and they try to dump him. That way, they're hoping that the Aztec uh, linebackers are dropping back and they're back in their 12 and 15 yard zone drops. He's been get open, getting open. Third down, five now coming up for Iowa State. Green and Tommy Davis are the setbacks. And here's Quinn back to pass one more time. Fires long to the end zone as a man open. Hobson at the five. He'll go in for a touchdown. Daryl Hobson, the flanker, got open. Had to be a missed coverage. Somebody missed an assignment. He was too open. Because the way the Aztecs play their defensive schemes, nobody should be that, that open. And Obviously like a blown coverage blown, somewhere. Blown assignment somewhere. One of the younger kids, Mark Coleman's in the game. He hasn't been playing for a while. And, of course, maybe Daryl Hall and Mike may not have a thing together. We have it back again. Quinn just unloads the ball, and Hobson's all by himself. Either Coleman didn't get back there the deep half of his field or, uh, or, the, cornerback. or the cornerback had the wrong coverage. So the touchdown makes it 45-23 right there. That's the first touchdown game. pass of the season by John Quinn. That's right. All previous touchdowns have been by rushing. So the Cyclones make it 45 23. They're going to go for a two pointer again, as they did on their last touchdown. Quinn rolls right, looks to pass. Still looking. In trouble, pressured, hit. Kevin Ritchie drops him. And so the two point extra point try will fail. 
And the score will remain 45-23. Aztecs on top by 22 points. We still have a minute 39 to play in the half. What is a very high spot, Alex Giffords. 45-23 Balkans. The Cyclone just went 51 yards and five plays after blocking a Mike Jeslin punt. Touchdown pass. And the kickoff to Smith. At the goal line. To the five. Ten. Small hole. Cuts through it to 20. Has running rope. 30. He's at the 40. Still running and tripped up at the 48-yard line. Phil Smith. Alex Giffords, the kicker, was the man who ultimately tripped him up, saving a touchdown. He's been on the verge of breaking one in the last two ball games. They've had some great running lanes, and he's got the speed. He's got that 4-6 speed that he can run right through there. We'll see it again. He just takes off, puts a good move on, Os on Osborne, I believe, the safety, and he just takes off. Had one man to beat, the kicker. That's an out for Dan Kesey there. Oh, one more time. Again, different angle. See how it is. It's I a good see. move on right there, and he accelerates, and... So Matt, well over 400 yards in passing tonight, faces here a third and 15, with 13 seconds to go in the third quarter. He'll put it up one more time. Looking, looking, now, oh, he tried to change his mind, and he dropped off incomplete. He's going to go to Ellis on a quick one, then he saw Jessup wide open in the flat. He couldn't do anything, so he just lobbed it right over the head. It could be a dangerous pass. One of the criticisms of Matt as a quarterback by football people is that he somewhat is sometimes limited in his vision upfield. Well, the biggest problem is they didn't have a real good passing attack last season, and he's just getting into uh, learning how to read the defenses, uh, seeing the whole field. If he had about another two years with uh, Doug, he'd be awesome. Right. So Mike Jeslin comes on to punt. Wade awaiting the ball at the 10. Jeslin had this last one blocked on a bad snap. Good snap this time. Has time and a kick is away, and it's a dandy. Little bound at the one and goes in. So it didn't have the backspin that he held for a 45 yard kick. It'll be a touchback. Cyclones will take over at their own 20 yard line, and that's the end of the third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. Aztecs 45, Cyclones 23, fourth quarter action right after this. Possession. Fulton and Roberts are the setbacks. Fulton put it up again. Blitz is on, but he completes to Fulton. Oh, he can't hold it. Oh, Steve Fogel. Just a little too high for him. Well, he got his hands on it, but couldn't hold it. So the incompleted pass will bring up a fourth down. Touch again, again, the blitz was on. Matt read it, dumps it off to his back, but just a little too high. Ah, too bad, Steve Fogel. So a fourth down, and Jeslin will come on to punt the ball again for the fifth time tonight. As a penalty yardage, pretty uh, relatively close. It's better than last week's. Oh, boy, that's true. Jeslin from his own 20 gets it away. Michael Way calls for a fair catch and takes it in at the 28-yard line as they were rushing a lot of people trying for a block but didn't get it. Got the 10 men up there rushing for the block. 42 yard punt. Not bad. He's been putting the ball well all year. He's got a 44 yard average, I believe. 44-8 right. going into this pocket. The best in the country. So the Cyclones of Iowa State will come back onto the football field offensively. And they trail 45-23. Ten and a half to play in the game. We'll be back after this. Yeah. Now dumps it off to a back. Pull back. Tom Roach. Roach. Midfield and into Aztec territory at the 47. Down by Dave 47. Coleman. Tom Roach. Cross midfield. Well, earlier we commented that Matt Kofler had thrown to nine different people. Now uh, Quinn doing the same thing. Just a little flare pass out to Roach and he takes it upfield. Once again, they're doing the same thing the Aztecs are doing to them. They're just thrown in front of that zone and letting the backs get as much as they possibly can out of there. Almost 10 yards, about nine and a half. Cyclones with a second and inches now. Roach and Crutchfield, the setbacks. This is Crutchfield, of course. Fights his way forward, couple yards, first down. As he bangs across the 45 and 43. I don't think he was banging through there. He sort of tipped with great authority, no. He was tiptoeing through that line of scrimmage, looking for a place to fall. Did I get that one yard? That's good, let me fall down here. 
sign of a demoralized football team. Well, he had rushed for well over 100 yards per game coming in. As you see, Mark Butts, the defensive captain and defensive tackle on the bench, apparently with an injury to his ankle. His nickname is Sasquatch. Now I know. Did you see Sasquatch of that foot? First down. Quinn throws. Completes the No! Drop. Tight end Dan Johnson was open. Why did they drop a lot of balls tonight? Well, when you don't throw the ball a lot, you're not used to it. It's a new experience for him. So this will bring up a second and ten now for Iowa State. 8.46 to go in the game. Coming into this game, Johnson only had seven receptions for 135 yards, so he's had five tonight. He's almost uh, tied a season total. Hobson to the right, way to the left. Got a split back. Quinn goes to put it up again. Pressure being flushed out, rolling right, looking upfield, and he's going to run it. 50. Now he throws the ball, and it's incomplete. And he did not go over the line of scrimmage, no, which was the 43. Intended receiver down there was Hobson. A good pressure put on him by 96, Jeff Morgan, from his nose guard position. Took over from Steve Allman. We'll see, uh, see Jeff coming in here right there. Just one more step. He had himself a sack. Showed good presence of mind here with uh, Quinn. He knows where the line of scrimmage is. He stops. He sees a receiver coming back to help him, and he tries to unload the ball. Doug Reed breathing down his neck. I'll bring up a third and ten. I will give credit to the offensive line of Iowa State. They don't normally do a lot of pass blocking. They've done a pretty good job tonight. I asked him a lot of blitzes at him. Third and ten. Quinn back to pass. Sets up. Last time now. Pressure throws. Completes it. Crutchfield at the 35-yard line. Short of first down yardage, though. At the 45, Crutchfield. Pick up a yard. Oh, clock continues to move. Yes, it's easy to pass protect when you have a line that they're 6'6, 6'5, 6'7. Takes you an hour to get around some of those guys. That's true, yes. It's yeah. about a $9 cab ride. That's right. So it's fourth down and two cyclones. They've had a lot of fourth downs. Obviously, they'll go for it. With Roach and Crutchfield, the setback. It's Crutchfield. He's got the first down across the 30 to the 29. He left the ball game at halftime injured with about 71 yards. He's had a couple of carries here in this half. He's just come up to a first down there. He now has 90 yards. Less than 100, obviously. I believe he has about 24 carries for the 90 yards. Four. All right. Frankie Leakes sets up wide left. Serrano to the right on first down. Iowa State win the pass again. Pressure now delivers, complete and almost intercepted. Three Aztecs there, but the man was open and it was a catchable ball. By Aztec standards, the intended receiver was Vinny Serrano. And Kevin Ritchie put a <laughs> big look shot at his face when he got up. Yeah. There's another one saying, get me out of here. Let's go back home. Let's get back where I can survive in the big eight and get out of this whack. Say it again. I don't know if we'll get a chance to see Ritchie coming in. Really puts a shot on Quinn. Just throws it. There's Kevin. He just gets out of Catchable ball. Three people there. Mike Fox. Bill Fair brother, Alan Dale. When you're there, you know you're going to get hit anyway, so you might as well catch the ball and make it worthwhile. Absolutely. Second down, tap. Quinn. Deep drop. It's a high delivers. And this one's complete to Wade. 25 and goes out of bounds at the 23 yard line. Michael Wade's cut a bunch of passes tonight. Short of first down yardage. He's got seven balls for 88 yards. Michael Wade has great speed. We said earlier he runs about a 4 5 40. He was a running back in the spring and they moved him out to wide receiver. It shows that he's adjusting pretty well, trying to put that speed to good use. And he knows what to do when he gets the ball. Boy, Vernon Dean's done a good job tonight. They've not thrown to his side of the field much. Deep stuff. A lot of the pass they've completed have been drag routes or things over the middle. Right. Cyclones now with a third and five. Quinn, Crutchfield, right side, has running room. 15, the 10, five. Run out of bounds, just short of the goal line. Well, Crutchfield ran hard that time. Yes, he did. Robbie Chapman Dwayne dropping Crutchfield. him out of bounds about the one yard line. Now that takes him over 100 yards rushing. Gain of 22 yards. The Cyclones. One yard line. Back in the door again. Yards. Pardon me? He now has 112 yards. 112. All right. So for the fifth game in a row, he goes over the 100 yard mark in rushing. It was a struggle for him. Say it again. Just your basic handoff. He sees a little room to the outside and he turns it on. 
Breaks a couple tackles, and here comes Chapman. First and goal at the one, and Crutchfield goes in for a touchdown for Iowa State. Wayne Crutchfield is going to TD from one yard out. Hang on, this football game is not over. That makes it 45 29. As Iowa State has run off 91 plays from scrimmage. That's a lot of offensive plays. Pointer again, they've made one and failed on one. Option in motion, option by Quinn. He'll take it in for the two pointer. Showed some option there. Two point conversion. So John Quinn gets a two pointer, and now 7 16 to play, and it's Aztecs 45. Iowa State 31 back after this. First and 15 for San Diego State. First down. He'll put it up. As pressure steps up, he's running it. A lot of room. 30, 35, 40. Still running. Still running and breaks it at the 40. A foot race at the 30, all the way down to the 20 yard line. And Jim Booth, both throw through a good block there and enable him to pick up that extra 30 yards. 56 yard gain by Matt Kopler. He just went right down the middle of the football field. You see it again, they're in a the man-to-man -man coverage. The Aztec receivers are running wide. Everybody's out of the middle, and there goes Matt. He takes off. Potro sees him running right over here. He throws a block. They were able to get another 30 or 40 yards. Finally, all down from behind by quarterback Joe Brown. Joe Brown. Watch it again. Matt just takes off. He's got fine speed. Put this point, took his way to the goal line, a straight line, isn't it? First down, Aztecs at the 20-yard line of Iowa State. Kofler, draw this time. Bull Williams to the 16-yard line. What will be a four-yard game? Stop made by Chris Washington. He's got to be a very tired linebacker. He's been busy tonight. That's right, he sure has. That's a quick trap. It's a good time to call these plays because Iowa State's mostly concerned with rushing the passer. So the linemen are just getting down and they're taking across the line of scrimmage. And this is a good time to run your draws and your traps. Five, second down, five Aztecs. Clock moving though with 5.51 to go. Durham sets out wide to the right. Smith, or rather, yes, Smith to the left. On second down. Cooper will put it out. Goes right, throws out pattern. Durham has it at the six. Fakes his man for the three, goes to the two. And the Cyclones were in a blitz. It looks like Matt is down. He took a good shot just by. Just right before he released the ball, he took a shot in the back by 85, George Jessen. We'll see it again. A little rollout. Watch Jessen right there, 85. Gives him a good shot. Durham on man-to-man -man coverage. Beats his defender. Gets it down about the two-yard line. And Matt's taken. Matt's being helped off the field. There, there you can see the shot. Face mask and helmet right in the middle of the back. George Jessen, a linebacker. And Matt gets a hand from 45,000 folks as he goes off. And a pat from John Featherstone. So, Rick Hansen will come in at quarterback. Junior from San Pasquale High. Kofler, 30 for 44 tonight. 434 yards, four touchdowns. Essex have first and goal to go at the Iowa State one-yard line. Yeah, Donnie Roberts. No, he does not make it as he cut in after sweeping to the left. Got a couple of inches, maybe. The unpile. Matt has 434 yards passing. He has about another 70 rushing, so he's had over 500 yards total offense just by himself today. Uh, he goes, Rick Hansen goes off. Matt comes back. He just took a blow, and he's all right. But it'll be second down goal to go at the one yard line. Clock moving, though, 4 48 to play in the football game. Aztecs lead 45 31. Trying to nail it down here. Kofler rolls right. Oh, looking, looking. He's going to run it, and he's hit in the backfield. Falls forward out of bounds at about one yard line for what will be no game. Matt looked to be in trouble. It's a great effort by Matt. He was hit, and he still dove forward, get the ball right back to the line of scrimmage. 
We have another Cyclone down. That's amazing. A very physical, big Iowa State Cyclones. Matt Kofler is not exactly what you call a uh, tough guy I, I mean, as far as his build. Skinny kid. Although his father told me when he was in Patrick Henry High, he said, that kid's a tough kid. <laughs> and he's shown it tonight. Sure has. We'll watch it again. Going block. to the pass, trying to go to the corner. Good blocking by Williams. Comes Matt. Oh, Takes good a good defense. shot. Good defensive play by Chris Bosky. Well, the ball remains at the one yard line while they attend to the injured Iowa State Cyclone. That man right there, Donnie Duncan, has got to be worried. He may need not an airplane to go home, but a uh, hospital uh, ship. Boy, good player's been banged up, and this is not a big eight ball game. No. He's worried. You can tell he's worried about next week already. He figures this one's almost over with. Boy, that man is down. Well, the Aztecs are home to BYU next Saturday night. And for Aztec fans who want to keep track of Aztec action, visit San Diego Federal's Del Cerro or 54th and El Cajon branches. Pick up your 1981 Aztec sports calendar. We got them all. And they're free at San Diego Federal. It's hard to tell who the injured man is, but if it's Bosky, then that means they've lost Mark Butts. They've lost Bosky. That's the whole right side of their defensive line. They lost Gillis. Gillis. The offense. Right, Crutchfield's lame. He's hurting. He's right. not going to get too much work during the week. Tackle Nelson got hurt. Left guard Weimers got hurt. Right. Well, the Aztecs have not been unscathed either, though. Brad Williams. Steve Allman. Jerry Stapline. Take a lot of time. Apparently, uh, it's Longshore. The quarterback, Darren Longshore. 6'1 junior from Massillon, Ohio. Well, a interesting, entertaining, and unique football game. And I'm sure for the folks in Ames, Iowa, a very unique football game. Something they haven't seen in a long time, a passing attack like San Diego State. Well, the last time Iowa State played here in San Diego Stadium was in 1973. Aztecs won that game 41-28, and Iowa State then had Ike Harris, who's now with Miami Dolphins or New Orleans Saints, Keith Carefully, tight end of Philadelphia Eagles, Matt Blair with the Minnesota Vikings. So they had some people. The injured man is Longshore. Longshore. He's up and walking off. Looks like he might have taken a shot to the head or his shoulder. He's holding his shoulder. They're holding his hand. I think he probably pinched the nerve or might have a separation of his shoulder. Because he put a pretty good shot on uh, Matt Kofler, and Matt just ran right through him. 4.34 to play in the football game. Third down, goal to goal from the one-yard line. Setbacks are Fogel and Roberts. Double tight ends. Kofler, right ahead. Fogel dives over. Touchdown, Aztecs. Well, that should be the one to seal it. Hopefully. Big Steve Fogel. Soaring into the heights. Five feet eight, 200 pounds. Here's where it all happens. Right in the line, there's some good camera work, see how physical it gets down there. Rides in on his blockers. The senior from Huntington Beach scores the touchdown. Well, the Aztecs go in front now, 51 to 31. 82 points scored in this game. Dave Byron to try to add an extra point. down and kick is on its way. It is good. Well, Dave Meyer adds the extra point. Now it is 52 to 31. 83 points scored in this football game. And we still have 432 to go. So hang on. Some more. Why not? And it's the Aztecs in possession. So fourth down, Mike Jeslin will be punting for San Diego State. His sixth punt of the night from the 10th. This one away. Single safety. Wade bounces it. 40 away from him. He'll take it at the 30. Looking for running room. Foot race. Gets it on the corner and then bumps out of bounds at the 41 yard line. 48 yard game. Larry Perry knocking him out. The Cyclones will come on for probably the last time of the football game offensively with a minute 48 to go. It's a 52 to 31 score. The Aztecs on top.
Thompson goes out wide to the left. Serrata to the right. Quarterback John Quinn, a busy man tonight. First down, he'll put it up. Sets. Pressure, roll out of there, hit, and gets away. And then he falls down for a sack back at the 30-yard line. Good pressure from Jeff Miller. The Essex were not blitzing. It was just an individual play. They fired up Jeff Miller. See it again, a good pressure from the Aztecs front line. We're just sitting back there as Miller grabs a hold of him. And number 98, uh, Marco Lee Beach, coming out. The quarterback is John English, who's in now for Quinn. English is 6'4", sophomore from Birmingham, Michigan. English this year has not thrown the ball. He'll try his first pass down. No, it's a draw. Crutchfield at the 30. Hit. Gets away. He's moving. And I beg your pardon. That is not Crutchfield. That's a move back in there. Oh, I guess it is. I'm sorry. That is Dwayne Crutchfield. So a couple of yard pickup. There he is. Slowly going back to the huddle. Now it's limp. Clock moving. Nice of them to run the ball. 42 seconds to play. Crutchfield, 27 carries, 119 yards. On third down, English back to pass. Now he fires and completes it to tight end Marco Beach. Pumped out of bounds at the 46 yard line by Adam Cox. Short of first down yardage. So, Mr. English, here he is. Young quarterback, sophomore, completes the pass, his first of the season. The cameraman takes the fake on Crutchfield, but right below, there he is. The tight end, good camera work. Fourth down. Yes. 30 seconds to play in a football game. And in the first quarter, Aztecs led 7-6. Tight ball game at the half, but that's 17-9. Still tight. Third quarter was 45-23. Now it's 52-31. Fourth down, English to pass. Has tied. Now fires it. A terrible pass. Incomplete. Stops the clock. It was a fourth down play. And the Aztec offense will come on again. Should do it for the Aztec defense for tonight. There's English coming off. And a very tired Wayne Crutchfield coming off. And the crowd responding. They're appreciative of the play tonight. Iowa State has run off 97 plays from scrimmage. And there it tells you the story of this football game right there in that man's face. Wayne Crutchfield. Hurts a little to walk. He's had a tough night. 23 seconds remaining. Rick Hansen, I'm sure, will just run the clock out and get out of here as the Aztecs are 23 seconds away from remaining unbeaten and going to 4-0. Hansen back to pass. No, sir. He's going to put it out. And pass is complete. Jeff Botro, the tight end, to the 40 to the 38. Short of the first down. Run it up. Yes. Get in those national rankings. Well, that's, that's good what it takes. Rick Hansen. Jessen making the tackle. Clock running. 10 seconds. 9 seconds. I don't think the class takes will run off another play. As Rick Hansen just completed his first pass of the year. Two seconds, and there it is. Happy Doug Skowal shaking hands with Matt Kofler. 500 yard plus total offense as the Aztecs defeat 12th ranked Iowa State 52 to 31. Scoville and Donnie Duncan shake hands. A big, big victory for San Diego State over a big eight team in front of 45,000 plus. And there's your score. We'll talk to you next week with BYU. Final score, Aztecs 52, Cyclones 31. Thinking about the Riviera, but just don't have the... So there it is, 52 to 31. The Aztecs beat Iowa State, so San Diego State's now 4-0. and zero. Cyclones, who were 12th in the nation in one ranking, 4th in the other, 3-1-1. One, and one. Donnie Duncan, their head coach, anything to you after the game? Yeah, he was, uh, I think, in a little shocked a little bit, but he, he's a very nice person. I had a good chance to talk to him before the ball game and uh, congratulated him on his team effort. I was just sorry to see him get so many guys bunged up because that's going to hurt their football team. They lost probably three really good football players. Their strong safety and their wide receiver are outstanding players for them, and that's going to hurt them, particularly right. with Missouri coming up. San Diego State, 52-31. Let's take a look at a couple of the plays. As I told you, that was a busy second half. Let's take a look at one of the touchdowns. Now, here is Matt. He will take it in himself, Doug. Now, is this rolling away from uh, pressure, uh, avoiding a sack, or is it the quarterback draw? 
Well, what it is is they, they had a man-type defense where they latched on to everybody and ran with them, and uh, they covered them pretty well, but they took themselves out, and Matt saw the opening on that side of the field, and he just ran straight up and went on in. In fact, they don't even, a lot of them don't even know he has the ball until he's almost in the end zone. Right, because there's nobody around him, and so Matt scores the touchdown himself. Darius Durham, one of the wide receivers for the Aztecs, a little bit pleased about it. Yeah, we got to tell him to be a little <laughs> careful here. There he goes. We don't a, want to lose anybody no, celebrating. No, Olympic <laughs> Games gymnastics. All right. So Matt Kofler scores a touchdown himself. He also threw for four touchdowns in the course of the ball game. In fact, one of them, we mentioned Darius Durham, is kind of interesting because Matt is going to throw, and I believe it's intended for Jim Butro, the tight end. Very definitely, Ron. Uh, we roll out again, and we're, there's Jim coming across the middle, just like he did on the other touchdown pass that he got. And you'll see, he, he can catch it, but Darius comes right in and takes it. I guess he doesn't see Jim there. So in essence, Darius Durham intercepts from Jim Butler. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're right about that. <laughs> and so the Aztecs score another touchdown right there. Darius obviously pleased, the junior. And so San Diego State beating the Iowa State Cyclones 52-31, to 31, over 500 yards total offense. Tons of yardage passing and uh, big offensive display for your club. Right. We just hope we can keep it going that way, particularly next week with that big win against BYU. So it really was, as you see by the final statistics, a game in which a lot of offense, the game almost went four hours. And to me, a key stat, Doug, the Aztecs, with all of those plays from scrimmage, had no turnovers. Yeah, we're very pleased, particularly against a hard-hitting team like Iowa State, not to have any turnovers in as much as we threw. So it's very gratifying, and uh, I hope we can keep it up. Well, you're 4-0 now. Ironically, Iowa State, supposedly a running team, now coming to town next Saturday night. BYU, a passing team, are we going to be there till midnight? I don't know. That's hard to say. Uh, you never know how those games are going to turn out. We, we may run a little more to keep it short. Oh, okay. <laughs> keep the clock moving. Right. Okay. BYU, a team you know about, so you have a lot of emotion for yourself personally going into this game. Yeah, it'll all be on the Aztec side, and uh, all the concentration will be there, and not going to worry about any past ties or anything like that. That's, that's all over. That's history. All right, and obviously it's going to be a big crowd. I would think so. I and you know who they'll so. be yelling for it. The Aztecs. All right. Well, good luck, because that's going to be a dandy ball game. The Aztecs and the BYU Cougars. And next Sunday, Doug and I will be right back here at the Aspen Mine Company restaurant at El Cajon Boulevard. And we'll give you a complete replay and talk to head coach Doug Scoville. And that is our Coach Scoville show for today.